5.7 by 28 is a great choice these days for carry, for uh, PDW range stuff, short range, 100 yards in, out to 200 with uh, appropriate setup. But I'd like to just go over why I like it as a round and what uh, I think uh, a lot of people are getting wrong and why it's overlooked or dismissed uh, for certain things. So to start off, what really set me down this path was Elijah Dickin. If you remember, he was the guy who uh, stopped a mall shooter, right? And he did, uh, what is it? The, Dick the Dickens drill, according to Grand Thumb, is uh, 10 rounds in 15 seconds at 40 yards. Because that's basically what the guy did, right? He stopped a mall shooter. You think of just picture a mall, you know, across a food court, right? A lot of the time people make their choices based on a mugger, uh, you know, seven yards in, that kind of thing. And if I lived in a city, that's probably how I would, um, what I would center my choice on as well. But I don't live in a city, and a lot of you don't as well, right? If you live out in the country, <clears throat> you're not really concerned with being mugged in a shadowy alley. That's just not, I'll speak from, you know, first person here, that's just not, not something I, I ever, you know, deal with. I don't walk around crowded cities. I live in the country. So Dickens' scenario really spoke to me because it made me think about, like, where, where am I likely to need protection? And that's at, uh, you know, parking lot distance, Walmart. Uh, I think about where I go in a day. And most of my day, almost entirely, all my day, because I'm a trucker, is in situations where I would be faced with the same kind of thing, right? So I go, uh, I'm at truck stops, which are just gigantic gas stations, long distances there, because they have to be room for, you know, 80, whatever, how many trucks to park there. And inside the truck stop itself is uh, usually at least 40 yards end to end. Uh, also, every day, every work day, I'm at my company's yard, because I'm a day cab guy, so I'm going in there every day getting in my truck. So that's a big parking lot. And I go to Walmart, which is big inside, and I go to uh, my pickups and my drop-offs, which are at manufacturing plants, factories, all big, big, big spaces. So what's important to me is dealing with not a mugger, but an active shooter or a workplace violence kind of thing. That's the more realistic scenario that I need to prepare for. And also here, outside um, home, defense, home defense, meaning like varmint defense, like if I'm over on that side of my yard and I see something attack my chickens. Hi, Bessie. Hello. Critters, right? Like the kitty here. She's on rat patrol. But we have rats, we have raccoons, we have uh, hawks. We have skunks, we have uh, weasels. So I need to be able to hit a small target uh, at distance. Like I said, it could be, you know, my yard is 60 yards, 60 yards across. Yes, hello. And so for me, what's more important than FBI statistics, standards of ballistics, is uh, accuracy, recoil, and volume of fire. Uh, like Dickens, you know, he did a 10 rounds, right? 10, yeah, 10 rounds in 15 seconds at 40 yards. Can you do that with a 9 mil? I can't. Not without a thought, for sure. And probably not just with a 9 mil and be accurate. Uh, I'm just not that good at handguns shooting. I'm just not. So I need all the advantages I can get. And I get, come here. And I get uh, much better results using my 5.7.
I, uh... Yeah, Philip. This is Bessie. She's our little, uh, she's our neighbor's cat, actually, but she hangs out here. She goes hunting for rats. Hello. So. Hello. Hello. So I'm not the best pistol shot, and with my Glock 48 with no dot, I'm not very accurate. I'm, you know, and uh, when I brought this rock home, my neighbor gave me a couple spinner targets that I have over there in the yard, and they're little. They're like this big, right? And we put those over it, over there, and then we shot from over here for a distance of about 20 to 25 yards, which is what the dot that comes with the rock is zeroed for. And myself, my wife, my best friend, and my neighbor were all able to, with zero warm-up, first time ever shooting the gun, we were all four of us were just pink, 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 pink. We, we could all hit these tiny little spinners at 25 yards, no problem. 5.7 is incredibly accurate, very flat shooting. It's a little laser beam. It doesn't start dropping until 100 yards, something like that. Um, and it's so low recoil that you can, your follow-up shots are extremely fast. There's, all, there's very little flip or, or uh, push. It's an incredibly fast accurate, low recoil round. No, we got on it. So, that's the main reason I use it. Uh, if, uh, if I lived in a city, like a coastal city, excuse me, like a coastal city, you know, with uh, magazine restrictions, that kind of thing, I wouldn't go with 5.7. It doesn't make sense to use it in a city because it is dependent on the swarm of bees, on the volume of fire, on, on follow-up shots, that kind of thing. Not because it's less lethal. It's because it's penetration-wise and terminal effect-wise. It's because it was designed specifically around the entire swarm of bees approach where... Uh, Fast, accurate. But what you know, what it, what it really is about is like the philosophy, the reason behind. Excuse me, five five six as an intermediate cartridge. The reason being that the, you know it's uh, you have much higher capacity, and you don't necessarily need the one shot. You know, impact that you do with a full pet that you get with a like a three hundred eight, for instance. 5.56 is, is designed to tumble, to fragment, to shred, and presumably you get two or three shots, right, on a target, and that's enough to drop them. Uh, that hasn't, it's not just anecdotal, that is often not the case. Uh, there, there are 10 trillion anecdotes about this. I've personally been told by guys that I served with that they zipped some dude up and he still continued to fight for 20 seconds, right? Because you need, you have to hit a critical area because the uh, hydrostatic shock and the just terminal effect in general is just not enough uh, with 5.56 generally. At distance, it's, it's just, you know, that's why right now they're going up to a 6.8, right? Which is basically 270 bridge, but it's the, yeah, but it's lighter, it's less recoily. Um, and I never liked those reasons in a carbine. I never liked those that rationale in reasoning, but it does make sense to me in a pistol. In a pistol, you're much more uh, rounds limited, unless you go with a 5.7. This holds 23 rounds, and it will fire with 24 in it. I've done it. Um, 
so you've got all the arguments for 5.56 five, that I don't like in rifle. They do work exactly in a pistol. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's, uh, you know, I'd just be repeating myself. That's pretty much it, right? It's uh, volume of fire, accuracy, lack of recoil. And it is a little rifle round. So it does actually tumble and whatnot. It doesn't just uh, mushroom and fragment. You're not dependent on hollow point exp fighting expansion versus penetration because they're not designed like your standard round nose pistol round. They're a little, right, they're a little rifle rounds. <clears throat> so, yeah, the round was designed, uh, a com you know, it was commissioned by by the Secret Service, I think, or whoever, you know, put it out. But they wanted something for PDW purposes, meaning, you know, a media threat, 100 yards. And that's where pistol range and pistol size weapons uh, matter. Uh, so let's go, all right, so let me pro-con it real quick for you. Uh, range, accuracy, and recoil. They're pretty self-explanatory. The 5.7 is just incredibly accurate. Uh, it has great range and almost no recoil. And a handgun, and a carbine, and a, and a and the P90, or the Keltec P50, or CMMG's guns, or any 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 5.7 carbine. It's it, it there's just no recoil, allowing more accurate, faster follow-up shots. Uh, armor penetration, if that matters to you, if. For instance, you were worried about some kind of sectarian thing breaking out and there were moving battles between <laughs> Proud Boy and Antifa kind of thing, right? Uh, soft armor might be getting used. And 5.7 has been, you can watch the videos yourself. There's a, you know, a million tests showing that. Uh, uh, 5.7 will go right through soft armor, uh, whereas 9mm will not. 9mm will be stopped by just about any armor there is. I think 2A will stop 9mm. Uh, uh, capacity, which is pretty much unmatched. Uh, in the rock here, it's 23 plus 1. There are a few, uh, like you can get a, a Beretta 92. I think you can get those with 19 rounds, something like that. Uh, but for the most part, like most of you are carrying Glock 19s, which is a 16 round, right? So it's seven more rounds in the rock here. And all the the the, uh, the Smith and the Ruger are, are similar. They're uh, 21 and 22, I think, something like that capacity. Uh, the weight, the size and weight, the strengths, the bullets themselves are so tiny. They're, they're tiny and they're light, and a whole box of them, a whole box of 50 is like very small and very light. These weigh almost nothing. So they're great for, 5.7 is a great, great choice for bug out, if, uh, if that interests you. Uh, cons. The only two cons, really, are cost and lethality, right? And both of those have caveats. So first of all, the cost that everyone always cites, even in like very recent videos, they're still saying, oh, it's so expensive, but it's not. Like, I mean, it's more expensive than nine mil, obviously, but I'll put in a image here. I just looked on ammo seek right before doing this. And you know, you can get training rounds. FN now has their uh, bulk range pack, whatever. You can get that stuff for 50 cents a round. Uh, there's lots of offers between 50 and 60 cents. You can you can start getting in the the Vmax the blue tips at 60 cents. I got these these green tips here at 60 cents. That seems to be the standard right now, and that price is only going down because Palmetto's ammo company AAC is making their own 5.7 ammo. It's no longer uh, monopolized by FN, which is why it was so expensive. All 5.7 ammo had to be. Uh, all the brass had to be brought over from Europe, and it was all uh, made, manufactured, 
uh, by Fioki. They had like the sole license to make it, make it in the U.S. Palmetto's AAC has their own line, and they're making their own brass. So the cost of ammo is only going to go down. Also, 5.7 just got a NATO designation uh, last year. You can't buy it right now. You can't type in 5.7 NATO and see a bunch of offerings, but it will be coming because it's now been standardized and accepted as a NATO round. That's a, That can't be like understated uh, how important that is. Uh, right. So that's the cost. It's just it's just not as expensive as it as it used to be. This, um, the rock that I got with the dot, with a with the uh, extended barrel was six hundred bucks. You can get the base mount model with just the standard length barrel uh, with no dot for three eighty, something like that. It's ridiculous. Um, And uh, more offerings are coming out every day. R Ruger has their has a carbine to go with their pistol. Uses the same magazines, and they actually just came out. Colleen Noir made a video. They just came out with a shorter version that looks like a MP7. Uh, called I think called Charger LC Charger, I believe instead of the LC carbine. So that's cool. It still uses the same mags. Uh, uh, that's. I'm going to get into specific guns in a bit. Um, right, cons. Cost and lethality. So lethality, uh, I would direct you to this uh, this channel, Buffman Range. He has done, he calls himself the king of 5.7. He has tested and has videos on every possible combination of 5.7 firearm and ammo that you can imagine. All uh, chronoed and gel tested. The uh, misgivings a lot of people have about 5.7's uh, terminal ballistics are just unfounded. They're, they're just not accurate. Are they less than 9 mil? Yeah. They're not, they're not like 380. They're, they are far more than enough, and they have great penetration. And uh, good uh, permanent cavities. Good temporary cavities. They're moving fast. They're they're five seven. The lethality claims are completely just wrong. I would say. I mean, I you know, it's just my opinion. But I, you know, you can go watch for yourself. All the testing in the world. You can read up on it. Uh, it is. I trust my life to it. The Secret Service trusted the president's life to it. You know. Yeah, they had the black tip, the SS one ninety, but that, that's. That doesn't change the lethality, that just changes the penetration of it. It's all about swarm of bees. So. Yeah, that's really it on, on that. Um, i trying to make this a little shorter video. Than a, so, uh, some specific choices, right? You have, in the pistol, you've got uh, FNs. Pistols, which are very expensive. You got uh, the Ruger 5.7, the Smith & Wesson MMP 5.7, and the Palmetto, Palmetto State uh, Rock 5.7. Uh, I have the Rock, obviously. Uh, I'm a big fan of this, this thing. It's um, really great. It's uh, nice and light. It weighs exactly almost what a uh, Glock 19 weighs, but it's bigger. It's full size, so it's balance is just excellent. Uh, the trigger is the trigger's great. It's got take up to a take up to a, a very solid wall and then once you get there it's not moving, not moving. There's a little switch and uh, yeah, it's a good trigger. Good trigger. The magazines uh, have been great. Haven't had any fail failures from there. I haven't had any failures, actually. And uh, yeah, it uh, it works. It's pretty great. Um, the the uh, pumps. The, there's a swell right there in the grip. And 
it's a little, I don't like it. I'm, I, I think I'm going to sand it down. But it's not like a deal breaker of any kind. Um, I just have lost a lot of weight recently, so I got kind of smushy fingers. But it's a... Uh, it's really great. It's accurate. It's so accurate, so fast. Great gun. Uh, so those are the four guns, the four, uh, four pistols, rather. They're all they're all good. You know, you get what you want. I went with this because I didn't like the uh, Ruger's trigger, and uh, the Smith felt just kind of cheesy and uh, rattly to me. And there's so much daylight between the slide and the frame. You know, despite, uh, which is too bad because that tempo recoil system seems pretty cool and that's good for uh, everyone, innovation. So carbine though, I feel that 5.7 is a really excellent PCC combo caliber because there's a lot of carbines available. There's uh, AR, there's an AR 5.7 that takes P50 uh, or P90 mags the 50 round magazine, which is what I am personally kind of prioritizing in my carbine choice. I, uh, I'm going to get a kel -Tec. I feel like if you're shooting 5.7 and you're not getting at least a 40 round mag, because CMMG has, one of their offerings has a proprietary 40 round mag. I feel that's the minimum. Uh, you're, you're not, if, if, if a 50 round magazine is available, why would you not use it? You know, like, and it, for while it's still being light, you know, uh, the uh, that's why I don't like the Rugers, really. The trigger I could deal with, but I just don't like the 22 round shared mag thing and that charger and the carbine. 22 rounds in a in a in, a, in, a, in your carbine, I just I don't, know. I don't think that's enough. Um. CMMG has CMMG has uh, a couple, I think. They have one. I think it's a Descent. I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but they have one that has its own proprietary 40-round mags, and they have one that's like one of their existing models, the, the Banshee or Descent or something like that. It's basically a, com uh, a conversion that takes less, a 20 or a 30-round. I don't remember, but it's basically just like a like an AR conversion instead of being specifically chambered and, and had a magazine for it. Uh, yeah, the AR-57 is cool. CMMGs are great. There is, of course, the original, but it was designed around the uh, P90 or PS90 from uh, FN. That thing's too grand, but I think it's cool. Like, if you're... I would suggest go and hold it and see if... Uh, those ergos work for you. That's, I don't. I don't know. But yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I like five seven. It's light. It's not as expensive as it was. Here's a lot of options, and more coming out every day. No recoil. Fast rate of fire. Super accurate. What more do you need? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it.